national parks are the gems of the continent. Each of the 58 national parks is a natural place so treasured that it was set aside to guarantee that future generations could enjoy them too. Taking care of these important and beloved places is the responsibility of the National Park Service, which depends on scientists to determine the best ways to preserve and protect the landscapes and life forms under its care. Scientists working in national parks track populations of bears, salamanders, and cacti. They monitor volcanoes, measure glaciers, and look after caves. A new title in Houghton Mifflin Harcourt's award-winning Scientists in the Field series takes readers on a road trip to see what these researchers are up to. In the book, Park Scientists, author Mary Kay Carson investigates how and why geologists are measuring geysers, ecologists are studying salamander genes, and biologists are tracking large venomous lizards. Science is important for managing the natural resources of parks. But parks are also important for science itself. Research goes on in these parks that cannot happen anyplace else. National parks are home to plants and animals that live nearly nowhere else. From synchronous fireflies in the Great Smoky Mountains to the grizzly bears of Yellowstone. Because national parks are protected places, researchers are able to do long-term studies of ecosystems, geysers, or climate. Scientists can collect data for years or decades without worrying about a highway being built or a field being mowed. Parks are like natural laboratories. America's national parks are the gems of the continent.